Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Broyan's Farm. I just showed up here at the hometown farmer's market and we're gonna start unloading. They're calling for rain all day today. It's not gonna accumulate to a lot, but you can see it in the vendors because there's literally nobody here. The only people I actually see here are the other plant growers. That guy over there in the black truck is a plant grower. He grows more shrubs. Then there's that guy who sells a lot of flowers like we do. And then the rest is just plain empty besides one or two other vendors. Well, we're all set up, kind of all by ourselves out here, but that's okay. Everybody that's coming in from the parking lot will at least notice us. We're not quite halfway through the day. It's not going very well. It's just miserable, rainy, and cold. So it actually started to brighten up a little bit. The sun came out. People started coming out of the buildings. They were walking around, buying a little bit, but now it's getting dark again. It just lightened, and now everybody's leaving again. So. We'll see what happens. I hope it doesn't get too windy because I don't want to have to worry about our tarps blowing away. A lot of cars here though. Should I hike these up for weight or leave them down? I think they'll be okay. I'd leave them down. Here comes the rain. Usually all these empty spots are filled with vendors. I told you I was gonna get nasty. The weather has changed for the better now, but it's very windy. We're gonna soon take down our tarps because we think they're in danger of blowing away. That's how windy it's getting. It's the next day. Frank and I are now out here in our strawberry patch again, picking on the opposite side that I picked in my previous video. So these berries are a little bit smaller, but there's still quite a few here. So we're gonna see what we can find. We're gonna try and go for like 40, 45 again, but we only like to pick for around two to three hours. Then we gotta move into other stuff. So we'll just see what we find. This is the average berry we're picking right now. I think the rain definitely blew them up a little bit because they weren't this big before the rain and it didn't seem like they were really gonna grow. But now they got to a half decent size. So this is what we're filling our quartz with right now. This right here is a really good berry for this patch. So it's been a little over an hour. This is what we got so far. The berries are beautiful. Like I said, the ones I'm picking are a little bit smaller. Frank got into a different variety, but there's not near as many as the bigger ones as there's the smaller ones. So now he's moved into my rows. We're gonna try and finish these off and then move on to unloading truck from yesterday. We just got out here to the market. We're starting to unload some of the flowers that we brought back. We're not gonna take everything and put it out here. Just some of the stuff my mom doesn't already have. Some of that's gonna be like the sunflowers. Basically all this big potted stuff on the floor and maybe some of the perennial flowers. We got that stuff unloaded. The market looks a lot better now, or the greenhouse, I guess I should say. Now that's full again. We're back here on the farm. Frank is 
cleaning trucks. We're gonna clean them out first by vacuuming them. And then like the big truck, since it has a metal floor, we're gonna pressure wash it. We haven't pressure washed that and cleaned it very good since we actually got the truck. So we're kind of excited to do that. And while Frank's doing that, I'm gonna be over here at the wagons. I gotta water these because if we have time, which I'm hoping we do, dad, Sammy, and I, maybe mom, well, we're are gonna head up to the field and we're gonna start planting peppers. Right now, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that we have three different wagons with our peppers for the field. And then we have a fourth one right here. This is the ones that we grew ourselves, which is we call our early peppers. This is what's gonna go in today. And then all these are gonna go in at a later date, just in the bare ground. Those there are gonna go in plastic. We never like to put our plants in the ground dry, even though we do water them as we're planting them. So we always like to water them like an hour before, or in this case, maybe two hours, something like that. Just a hair, like just a, wait, Never mind. you're good. Dad's got the trailer full of peppers. He's hauling that up to the field right now. I'm coming over to the shed where Frank is at. We have two tractors hooked up to two different water tanks. And then we have another tractor hooked up to the actual water wheel planter. I'm gonna take one of the water tanks up now and then we'll just keep running back and forth till we get everything up there. Frank will probably start helping us pull plants because unlike tomatoes, peppers have to be planted really fast because we do two different rows in the same row of plastic. If you've been wondering where Sammy's been the past two weeks, she's actually going to school to be a pharmacist. So she's been at the hospital doing some kind of training. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Oh, how do you want to tie it off? I'm not that worried about it. Dad has a special way he ties it. I just don't do it anything. I don't do anything special, yeah. but this looks beautiful. Oh yeah, I, I want. Good. I, I wanted to take like a wet rag or something, but I mean, it's I got a, it. I got it good. It's all right, that's fine. This is awesome. better, better than perfect. There's our supervisor. So we're all set up here at the field. This is our wagon full of peppers, water tank. And we're trying to gravity feed into our water wheel planter. It's not working too well. It's a very slow process, but we're getting there. You have to hold the hose just right to make it run. And even at that, it's not running a lot. We're all loaded Almost up. We're about three quarters of the way through our first row. Everything's going good so far. It's a little bit muddier than we thought. You can see how it's caking to the tires. The water wheel actually looks a lot worse. The big tires though aren't so bad. Maybe it's because they don't have as much tread. My job is obviously driving the tractor, but the most important thing is to make sure that that plant is being planted right in the middle of the plastic. Especially when we're doing something like peppers, when there's two rows, it doesn't give me a lot of room for error. We accidentally sold our yellow bell for the field. We have two different batches. And so now we're trying to sell our retail that we sell in singles. But the problem is it's a lot bigger than like a 1206. So it doesn't fit in the hole very good. So now dad is kind of going through and breaking the roots off a little bit. And so is mom just so that it fits in the hole better. So we encountered a little bit of a problem as we were coming through, just about done with our first row. We ran out of water. And it's very important that when these plants first go in the ground, they have water because that not only keeps the bugs off of them, but it also gives them nutrients to start growing. 
And so now we have to wait. Sammy's gonna bring up two five gallon buckets. We're gonna fill them up over there with the water tank. Then we're gonna bring them out here, dump them in this water tank, and then we can finish out our row. This right here is why this piece of equipment is called a water well planner. We fill the tank above with whatever liquid we want to put in it. It comes down through the tube and out these two spouts into each water wheel. Once we start moving, the wheels start to turn and in between each spike you can see a little tiny hole. That's where the water comes out. Once that spike goes into the ground, floods the hole and that's when my parents, as you can see, will take whatever plant they're planting, which in this case is peppers, and push it into that nice soft ground. Then the water that's left in the hole will seep around the plant, covering it, leaving it ready to grow. It's important that we go as slow as the tractor can possibly go so that my mom and dad can push that plant in as deep as possible, leaving it the best chance to grow. If they don't push it down deep properly, what'll happen is with all that water, the plant will float back to the top and it's just gonna die within a couple of days. The biggest problem we sometimes have is with all the rocks, sometimes the spike will hit one and it won't go down all the way. So then we struggle to try and find a way quick enough to get past that rock and into the ground if we don't get it down in, what we'll do is come back later and fix the plants up. It's a little bit after seven and we just finished up. Six rows, double planted. I'll show you what it looks like. Right here they are. We have bell peppers, long hots, Hungarian hot wax, and I think that's it. All this over here is like orange bell, yellow bell, red bell. Over here is the long hots and the Hungarian. And I could be missing a variety, but I think that's just about everything. So with that being said, I'm gonna call it a wrap for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching and always remember it ain't much, but it's honest work.